The first pellet I tested was the JSB Predator Polymag again. As some viewers already know, I just love this pellet. Just as in my water trap expansion test, the pellet expands less than one inch after entering the gelatin at 821 feet per second and makes a very large cavity, leaving the polymer tip at one and a half inches. The pellet continues on its way until it stops at seven and a half inches, but not before creating a very respectable tunnel for itself all the way up until it comes to a rest. This is some great energy transfer, as I didn't expect any pellets to keep tunneling until they stopped. The starting diameter of the predator's head was 0.22 inches, and after the gel shot, it expanded to 0.295 inches, a 34% increase. This result is only 1% off of my water trap test, and if you ask me, that is a consistent, well-made pellet. For any of you who have watched my water trap test, you can see that the pellet expanded slightly differently due to the gelatin, making a more resistant shape, but it is still amazingly uniform for a pellet that changed so much after impact. 